Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to manually operate the hydraulic system in case of an electrical failure. So each vehicle that we send out, it comes with this drill kit. I recommend that you open this when you receive your vehicle and be sure to get this fully charged and keep it fully charged in your vehicle in case it's needed. So you'll want to remove the drill. You'll want to find this extension and place that in the drill. And then in this kit, I want you to find the flathead bit and put that in backwards. So you want the flathead to go in the extension so that you have a quarter inch Allen on the end of the drill. So then we'll pick this cover up and here you'll find the three hydraulic motors. You have one for the door, one for the lift, and one for the horizontal. So if you need to open the door, what you would do is remove the sticker here on the end of the motor, the gray sticker. There you'll find a receptacle for the quarter inch bit. Place the quarter inch bit into the end of the motor. And if you turn that counterclockwise, as it states on the label, that will open the door. Turning it clockwise will close the door. Then if you need to run the lift up or down, you'll want to run this motor counterclockwise for up, clockwise for down. And here is the horizontal to run it in and out. So counterclockwise will go out and clockwise will go in. And you will find the same three pump system on the full-size pickup trucks under the rear seat opposite of the conversion side. So this one we're looking at here is a driver side conversion. So we have the rear passenger door opened up. You'll want to lift up both seats. And lift this cover. And here you'll find the same three motors that was shown on the full size SUV. And it runs all in the same operation.